This is a Learning with Lattes production by Mainline Information Systems. Thank you for joining us today for our Mainline and IBM Storage Made Simple for Hybrid Multi-Cloud Environments. Today we have Eric Herzog and we have Bob Elliott. Eric is with us from IBM. He is the Chief Marketing Officer and the VP of Worldwide Storage Channels from IBM. Um, and then Bob Elliott is with Mainline and Bob is our Vice President of Storage Sales here at Mainline. Uh, my partner in crime, Christina Perez, um, is there. And Christina and I are both in marketing and here kind of co-hosting and making this happening behind the scenes. Okay, with that, I am gonna be saying so long for now, turning this over to Bob Elliott. Bob, it is all yours. All right, Marie, thank you very much. And uh, thank you, Christina and Chris Akel for uh, helping set this up. And most of all, thank you to everybody who's joined us. Uh, I do appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, spend with us over the next hour. I know Eric has done a phenomenal job of, uh, of basically marketing the new announcements from IBM. I just want to take you through uh, Mainline. For those of you who aren't familiar with Mainline, we are a, a business partner. We're a business partner of IBM's, obviously. That's our heritage. Uh, we're a little over 30 years old. We've got national reach. We're almost a billion-dollar company at this point, which is kind of amazing. Uh, we handle most major manufacturers in hardware and software, but as you will be able to tell from, uh, from this and any discussion you have with Mainline, uh, our major is IBM. We have an IBM heritage. We're very close to IBM. We're headquartered in Tallahassee, Florida. So why would you want to work with Mainline if you're not doing so already? Uh, we've got tremendous expertise with IBM. As I said, over 30 years, IBM heritage. We started out as an IBM partner. We're still very closely tied to IBM. Um, and I don't know if you're familiar with Arrow, but Arrow is our distributor. They're one of the largest distributors um, really in the world. And we are their largest IBM partner. Uh, just trying to put it in perspective. We've got tremendous skills in storage. We've got tremendous skills in all products, uh, specifically IBM. But really, you know, the nature of today's discussion is storage. Great technical skills, uh, very, very deep, and a deep bench. We've got multiple skills from, you know, the very high-end products to the very entry-level products. And we're going to help you provide an end-to-end -end solution uh, to make sure that your business functions at the, the best availability, the best way it possibly can. So, Eric, I'm going to turn it to you. And thank you again, Eric, for, uh, for doing this with us. Great. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate everybody joining us today. And you're going to see this is very much worth your while. Um, we launched a new Flash System family on the 11th of February. And before there were travel restrictions, we did this live at an event in Stockholm, Sweden with over 500 people in attendance. And we're gonna talk about how we make storage simple for your hybrid multi-cloud environment. Now at IBM, we see that everyone is in the second chapter of the digital transformation. And for us, that really ties into three areas. First is journey to the cloud. The question isn't, are you gonna do cloud? It's when you're gonna do cloud. Now, normally that involves what we call a hybrid cloud, where some of your data sits on-prem and some of your data sits with your favorite cloud provider. Second thing is building a smarter business. And this is all about the incorporation of AI and big data analytics technology into how you run a business. Um, and this spans not just the largest global Fortune 500, but is weaving its way down into some of the smallest companies in the world as many software vendors, including IBM, are incorporating AI technology into their solutions. In fact, several members of our Spectrum virtualized software product line, which is part of this launch, has AI embedded right into the software itself, which is used, of course, to manage storage. And then it's all about cyber resiliency and cybersecurity. As you know, it's not if you're going to be attacked, it's when you're going to be attacked, and you often will be attacked every day. Anyone who uses uh, the Symantec antivirus stuff, you can see if you've got it set up right, um, you can see when someone's trying to attack you and you block them. And to me, that happens like four times a day. Um, so this is common for everyone. And obviously, in a business setting, it's even um, more common. The other thing we see is there's a lot of challenges. So the IT teams need to adapt. And this means you're not talking just about compute, but what's your physical environment? Many of you still have bare metal applications, your virtual environment, and of course, the new world 
of containers. As you know, IBM made a little tiny acquisition last year known as Red Hat. Um, IBM Storage had been working with Red Hat way before IBM decided to buy the company. We've been going to the Red Hat summits for years and years and years and years. Networking needs to adapt, include your applications and workloads. And then what are you gonna do with your data? Data is your gold. Data is your diamonds. Data is your value. The most valuable thing you have besides your employees is the data that they manage. So where should it be located? How are you gonna connect remotely? What are you gonna do across multiple offices? How is it visible? Of course, security, we've mentioned that already, and no one can have too much performance. I've been doing this for almost 50 years now. Yes, I, I'm a well-preserved um, close to 70. And I remember when people thought, you know, getting 5,000 IOPS was a lot. And now our solution is talking 18 million IOPS. And I don't hear anybody complaining that, wow, we wouldn't want it to go 50 million IOPS if you could get it there. So we've got a great award-winning portfolio that really is divided into the three segments. Storage for hybrid multi-cloud. This is our block storage that can seamlessly move data back and forth from on-prem to any cloud. Storage for AI and big data. I already mentioned that we use AI inside of our own storage solutions and our own storage software. But in this case, the right platforms for your AI or big data workloads. Um, for those of you that don't know, one of the largest credit card company in the world, almost every all their credit cards are running through an AI uh, workload that is run on IBM storage, checking millions of credit card transactions um, every few minutes. And of course, cybersecurity is a big issue. Today, what we're going to talk about is the green box. Those solutions are built around our flash systems that leverage our Spectrum virtualized software. In short, any storage solution that's not for a mainframe environment is covered by this platform. One of the key tenants that's been driving it for IBM is that everything should be made simple as possible. Easy for you to use, easy for you to manage, easier for you to deploy, but not simpler. In other words, don't strip away key features, don't give them less for their money, make it easier and easier to use, but add more and more features and functions. And you're gonna see that as we move forward. Now, one of the things is that more is not always better. In fact, when you look at all storage vendors, IBM and our competitors, we all have had multiple non-mainframe platforms. All of us have had at least a, a high-end, a mid-range, and an entry products. It means different APIs for you to work with, different management. For those of you that use multiple storage vendors, which is very common for companies $5 billion and up to use multiple storage vendors, now it's even worse. You've got lots of complexity, different APIs, different ways to go out to the cloud. But as a group, we have delivered innovation, but it's been at a huge set of costs, and a huge amount of complexity. In fact, when you look at our competitors, and this is right off their websites as of a week ago, if you're in the non-mainframe space, this is how many different solutions they may need to sell you to meet your non-mainframe storage needs. So in fact, the analysts and the press have been very impressed with this launch. Uh, as Joe Kovar noted at Computer Reseller News, we're jumping ahead of the competition by having what we're gonna show you now, which is a single platform. What we're doing is radical simplification where we're gonna deliver innovation and value. All non-mainframe storage can be done off our flash systems speak featuring our award-winning Spectrum virtualized software. This will dramatically increase innovation. You're gonna see that unmatched performance, unmatched enterprise data set and data services in the software, but dramatically reduce your complexity and your costs. From an entry space, a mid-range space, a high-end space, and out to your multiple cloud providers, you will have one set of software, one set of APIs, one way to manage it. And whether your workloads are bare metal, whether they're virtualized with VMware or Hyper-V, whether they're containers running Kubernetes, of course, or uh, the Red Hat solutions, or cloud-native hybrid multi-cloud environments, which also tend to use containers, one platform will do everything. So how have we done this? And you're gonna hear more about this as we go through. We've deployed what we call our flash core modules. We take off the shelf flash chips and literally make our own flash device. We employ a new technology called storage class memory from both Intel and Samsung. 
you're going to see price and density efficiency that is unheralded in the flash space. Enterprise class data services, whether that be snapshots, whether that be replication, whether that be AI-assisted data migration, um, all of that embedded. Hybrid multi-cloud support, enterprise support and services mainline or IBM can give you incredible support and service on site, over the phone, via email, via the web to answer your problems and questions. Enterprise functionality, availability and reliability, even at the entry space. So as an example, our lowest end product, the Flash System 5010, features things like data rest encryption, high-end feature, three-site replication, a very high-end feature, and six nines of availability, which translates into five minutes of downtime in a full 365 by 24 by seven day. Advanced cyber resiliency, of course, AI-based solutions, and of course, all kinds of methodologies to move data back and forth seamlessly and easily. This single platform then, as you see in the middle, spans from the entry space with our 5,000 family up to a pre-racked 9200R, which comes with 9200s and switching already built into a rack that Mainline can wheel in on a dolly and install probably in less than two hours. All of it with our Spectrum virtualized software that works both on-prem and out into the cloud with Spectrum virtualized for public cloud and our AI-based management tool, Storage Insights. What do these systems deliver? Unmatched performance for transactional workloads, 18 million IOPS and as little as seven microseconds of latency. So for highly transactional workloads, nothing matches that, including high-end solutions from the competition. It's very efficient. We have compression and block dedupe, so you buy less storage because you can shrink the actual storage. Incredible resiliency from an operational perspective. Cyber resiliency. And again, it's simple to do everything, whether it be configuring, supporting it, connecting it to the cloud, integrating it, et cetera, all made easy. And we're gonna go a little deeper on all this. All this is underpinned with the Flash System family with our Spectrum virtualized software and storage insights, which is a cloud-based, AI-based monitoring, predictive analytics package. You can see what software comes with each of the models. Um, the lower end models, such as the Flash System 5010 and 5030, do not have all the software, but that's not a licensing limitation, that's just a limitation of the power of the CPUs in the array controllers that are inside of the boxes. Once you hit the Flash System 5100, which is a really at the upper end of the low end, but still an entry type product, from the 5010 on up, you can go ahead and get all of the software capability. And this software capability is widely lauded out in the industry. In fact, as you can see in the quote here from one of the leading storage analysts, enterprise strategy groups, they wax poetically all about the software. And then at the end, they say, ah, and this comes with an impressive all flash array too. So the software heavily differentiates and delivers real value to you and what you do. So let's go a little bit deeper. These systems are simply fast. The three key parameters you would look at from a performance perspective are latency, bandwidth, or IOPS. In all cases, we outperform the competition. This is all public information right off their websites, a performance that they deliver. On latency, 30% faster. This is, of course, very important in transactional workloads. For batch workloads and or AI workloads, it's bandwidth. You can see up to 10 times faster than the next fastest solution. And in IOPS, 3 million faster. But the key thing to note is the performance per rack you and also just the total CapEx and OpEx of the solution. Our nearest competitor in performance, as publicly announced, is EMC. And they do 15 million IOPS. But to do that takes two 80 rack U, two arrays taking up 80 rack U. We can get 3 million more IOPS in only eight rack U. So one, that's much less capital expenditure. The four 9200s that give you that 18 million are 10 times less expensive than eight rack U of PowerMax from EMC and much less operational costs, whether that be rack place, sport floor space, power, cooling, or even just regular things. Flash modules do fail, whether it's us or our competitors, but they're all replaceable. We all have high performance availability systems, but someone has to walk out and replace those modules. 
There's a lot more of those flash modules and power supplies and fans and even things as simple in cables in the 80 rack you from EMC versus the eight rack you from IBM. And when you go to NetApp, similar solution, although there, 48 rack you delivers only 18.4 million, or le sorry, 11.4 million IAPs, way less than the 18 million you get from IBM. They're very efficient, these systems. The flash core module is pictured there on the bottom left. We have hardware accelerated compression. That's right, you can compress workloads that are compressible. Not all workloads are. For example, MPEGs and JPEGs are not compressible. But for everything that is compressible, we can shrink down the amount of storage space it consumes with no performance penalty. So accounting data, medical data, financial data, data that's used nonstop by your employees, you can be compressed it and shrink the amount of space you need on storage and have no performance hit. We also have data reduction pools that work not only on IBM storage, but off IBM storage, because IBM Spectrum virtualized software that comes on the flash systems supports over 500 different storage arrays. Of course, the vast bulk of them are not IBM. We also have the densest configuration of flash modules. The flash core module that you see on the left can go up to 38.4 terabytes. That's 28% more usable capacity than an industry standard flash drive. This gives you up to four petabytes in only two rack you. That's right, in only two rack you, four petabytes of all flash. They're also easy to tailor. We not only support our own flash core modules, which have zero performance impact on compression or data at rest encryption. So when this chief security officer, your legal officer says we should be encrypting data, when you use a flash system using our flash core modules, you can encrypt the data with no performance penalty to that finance package or that healthcare package. You can scale the solutions using either industry standard SSDs, hard drives, or storage class memory. We easily tier data back and forth, both within our array, but also from our array to another. It's AI based. You point and click and just tell it to go. You can set it and forget it. You can improve the performance across your data center. You can improve the economics across your data center because we always move the hot blocks to the fastest tier, the slow blocks. And once you set it and forget it, our AI-based tiering technology takes care of it for you. You don't have to do it except for the first time. You set up a source, you set up a target, and we do all the work after that. The systems are also simple to scale. You can easily add a distal capacity, a distal performance, and all of this is 100% NVMe, all using the latest NVMe performance technology, which gives the performance that you saw earlier in the presentation. And it's managed with a single pane of glass. They're easy to monitor. Our Storage Insights software is cloud-based. It can go on-premise. It also supports, by the way, IBM Spectrum Virtualized for cloud. It manages the health, the capacity, and the performance. You can set it to automate things. In fact, from a support perspective, 66% of issues get resolved automatically. That's right. 66% of the issues that show up get resolved without you calling mainline or calling IBM. And if you do have to call mainline or do have to call IBM for support, that support ticket will be handled 40% faster than it was prior to the use of our Storage Insights platform. This platform also allows you to do analytics on best practices, on how to configure for Oracle. What would you do for DB2? How would you consider and do the best practices for high availability or risk analysis? What could you do for MongoDB? This is all done independently. It's all done privately, so you can be part of the community. If you don't want to be, that's okay. But if you're part of the community, you can all share and all see these best practices across uh, the family. We also want to make it easy to secure. We offer it data and rest encryption, as we mentioned, in our flash core modules. But with Spectrum Virtualized, we can also do data encryption on other arrays, that EMC array you have or that HP array you have. We can do data at rest encryption. Now, obviously, FIPS 140-2 is very important for any of the finance people on the phone, the banks or the insurance companies, federal standard. We've got hardware-based encryption, our flash core modules, that's FIPS 140 compliant. 
and of course, simple and easy key management. Of course, you're doing the cloud. Everyone is doing the cloud. Well, these will seamlessly move data from an entry system, a flash system 5010, a mid-range system, a flash system 7200, a high-end system, the flash system 9200 or 9200R, seamlessly move data back and forth to the cloud, giving you business continuity and disaster recovery, providing you a way for your DevOps and analytics team to use copies out in the cloud, cyber resiliency, logical air gapping. So if you do have a malware and ransomware attack, you have a secure copy of the software offsite. And of course, the capability of migrating data either permanent to cloud, particularly for archiving workloads, or even move it back. In fact, one of our customers did DevOps in the cloud. They were a bank. They did very highly transactional workloads and developed the application out in the cloud. And then they actually migrated it back on-prem because they needed the performance of flash systems to run that finance workload on a regular day-to-day -day basis in the banking industry. But you can migrate data on, data off. Now, everybody runs their systems all day, every day, holidays included, doesn't matter. You don't want your system to go down, whether you be a global Fortune 500 or whether it be Herzog's Bar and Grill. So we provide replication. I am in Silicon Valley. We really actually, if you look on the newspaper, you'll see there was actually an earthquake uh, here this morning, which for some reason I didn't even notice when I was already on a call with uh, some guys in Europe. We can replicate two sites and we now deliver three site replication. For those of you that know storage well, three site replication is a very high end configuration. Even our entry flash system 5010, which could be as low cost as 20,000 street price from mainline, can have three site replication. Mainline and IBM can also offer you our HyperSwap 100% availability guarantee. We have replicated local volumes. So these are local geographically replicated. And you can combine the replication and the HyperSwap to have super high end and high availability configurations with a stretch logical cluster and then go that from a DR site. So if you were doing that in Silicon Valley, you would go to Denver. If you're doing that in India, you might go to Singapore. If you're doing that in Latin America, you might be going over to the UK, but allowing you to do very advanced uh, DR replication capabilities across the world in an asynchronous fashion, but giving you very enhanced high availability configurations. So while that gives you operational resiliency, you need to be cyber resilient. The average cost of a cyber attack is 4 million. That's right, that's an industry standard spec that's not an ibm number that's from industry analysts that it costs an average of four million per cyber attack and obviously if you're a large company it could be substantially more so you need to make sure you're cyber resilient our flash system family with our flash core modules gives you data at rest encryption with no performance penalty so there's no excuse mr storage guy when the app owner says well it's going to be really slow if you encrypt it you can say no the chief legal officer or the chief security officer told me to encrypt and I can give you encryption with no performance penalty. We also will encrypt across IBM and non-IBM storage. Spectrum Virtualize has a built-in software encryption. It does have a performance penalty of about five to 6%, depending on uh, whose storage it is. Obviously very older storage, which we do work with, um, it will be slower. And when we move data back and forth to the cloud, guys you wanna work with, we encrypt it. We have cloud air gapping, which we talked about already. And with our Spectrum Protect Suite, which is optional, you do have to pay for that separately, we give you malware and ransomware detection capabilities across backups, snapshots, and replicas. Our AI-based anomaly detection will see very strange things. So as an example, if your normal backup window was 11 o'clock at night to one o'clock in the morning, and the rest of the time the data set, the backup data set was quiesced. And at noon the next day, it saw constant activity, it would send you an alert. And it can send multiple alerts. If you're a large company, you may want it to go to the backup admin and the storage admin. It would then tell you that there's anomalous activity going on in that backup data set. Now, if you permanently change the backup data set, the AI learns and it stops sending you notifications. 
And then of course our snapshots are application where environmentally integrated. So whether you're doing a bare metal snap, whether you're doing a virtualized snap such as VMware or a container snap such as Red Hat, we are integrated. And why is that important? Your systems need to be easy to recover. If you have a down, whether it be tape, whether it be a cloud recovery or a storage recovery, whether recovering from VM, a VMware snap or containers, or whether you're recovering with snapshots, bare metal, either on-prem from storage or out to the cloud, you wanna make sure that you can easily recover. In fact, if you're a larger company, you probably have data sets in all of these um, four categories. If you're a smaller company, maybe you only have a small tape drive, or maybe you're only using a logical air gap to your public cloud provider. <coughs> Excuse me. But those of you in the larger companies are probably doing all four of these, depending on the application workload and use case that you're protecting. In any event, what you would do is create a fence network. You'll do a rapid recovery from whichever one of these type of uh, snaps or backups or replicas you have in place for that data set. You recover quickly into the fence network. Then you have your application team look to make sure there's no malware or ransomware present, and then you would recover. If there was malware or ransomware, then you would go to another point in time and do another recovery into the fence network. The last thing you wanna do is go ahead and do a recovery and actually recover back malware or ransomware. In fact, the average time to recognize that there is a malware ransomware attack according to industry analysts, is almost 60 days. So you're clearly taking snapshots for those 60 days. So you may need to do a couple recoveries, but the point is, A, we can template, template it and automate this process. B, once you've cleaned up your primary storage and your primary servers, you bring it into a fence network, and then you make sure that it's good before you do a full recovery. We also make sure that these systems are simple to upgrade. Our Flash Momentum Upgrade Program allows you to upgrade either the controller, the storage, or both at the same or lower price after a three year period. There's no upfront lock-in. You probably heard from many storage vendors, similar programs, and all of the storage vendors have these programs. The difference is almost every other storage company wants you to make a decision upfront on day one, right after you buy. So Mr. Herzog, you bought yesterday, would you like a controller upgrade program? If I say yes with the competitors, I actually have a higher maintenance fee to cover the cost of the controller, which will be priced three years from now. In short, I prepay three years ahead of time. With IBM and Mainline, you don't need to do that. You can tell us the day before you wanna upgrade, I wanna upgrade. And once Mainline or IBM does the install for you, then we charge you. But we don't charge you three years ahead of time. And last I heard, almost no customer, particularly in the recent environment, wants to be prepaying for anything. So why not pay for it when you need it? And by the way, if you don't wanna do a controller upgrade, you can buy a brand new flash system product from Mainline. We also make sure these systems are easily integrated. The world used to be bare metal, not true anymore. VMware, Hyper-V, and all the virtualization layers have been out now for over 20 years. And the last couple of years, as you, many of you are probably working with right now, you have containers. We support Kubernetes and an open configuration. We support OpenShift from Red Hat, and we support the container storage interface. So no matter how you wanna work with these other environments that are infrastructure oriented from a software side, virtualization or containers, IBM storage can give you the right persistent storage with flash systems, and we can make sure that any persistent storage that you create in your VMware environment or your OpenShift environment, you can back up and recover. We also have made sure these are easy to orchestrate. Many of you are aware that Red Hat has come out with the Ansible automation platform. This is very much targeted towards the software developers and uh, the coders. So while you wanna take care of them as your constituent, if you're a storage guy, you don't want them to mess things up. So by using this automation, which is incorporated into Spectrum Virtualize, which means not only will it work with our flash system, but also work with our competitors gear. Remember, Spectrum Virtualize supports over 500 different heterogeneous storage arrays. So that older EMC VNX one, if you want Red Hat Ansel support, you can get that as long as you've connected it to a flash system running Spectrum Virtualize. This will 
easily automate tasks, and dramatically reduce risk and uncertainty. The last thing you want is the software guys or the developers playing with the storage infrastructure and messing it up. By working with the Red Hat Ansible platform and Spectrum Virtualize that comes on our flash systems, you can avoid that and you can allow the developers to modify the storage as need be, but under your control using the Red Hat Ansible automation. As I mentioned several times, these systems are easily integrated with other solutions. We can move data around, we can tier, we can snapshot, we can encrypt, we can reduce the amount of storage you need. We can move the data back and forth. And in fact, we recently announced with Storage Insights support for some of the EMC platforms, some of the Hitachi platforms, and some of the NetApp, NetApp, NetApp platforms. So not only supporting IBM's products and also going out to the cloud, with IBM Spectrum Virtualized for the cloud, but allowing you to monitor these systems as well as doing all of the uh, enterprise class data services. And in fact, Storage Review talked poetically about Spectrum Virtualized for the enterprise data services it delivers, but also its capability of moving data both on-prem and off-prem, both for our storage, but also for all the other storage that's not ours that is supported with our Spectrum Virtualized software platform. Now. In today's world, how do you want to acquire this? Mainline can offer you four different options. A, you can buy it. B, Mainline works with IBM Global Financing to give you flexible financing plans. B, we have a utility model, cloud-like. In the utility model, which is only for our storage systems, it's a pay-as-you-go model. Mainline can put this in for you. You'll get billed once a quarter for the quarter in arrears. So for the quarter win right now, you would get a bill in April. For the April quarter, you'd get a bill in July. If your capacity goes up, the bill goes up. If the capacity goes down, your bill goes down. The main thing with the storage utility is one, it's for storage systems only, and it is a three to five year commit. So in the same line of giving you cloud-like pricing, we also announced a no long-term commitment subscription service, which, I, which Mainline can offer you as well. This allows you to cancel with no long-term commitment. It includes our storage system products, but it also includes our storage software. So as many of you know, IBM is the second largest storage company in the world and the second largest storage software company in the world. So things like our Spectrum Protect, our modern data protection and cyber resiliency software works not only with IBM storage, but with our competitor storage as well. You can now get IBM Spectrum Protect as a subscription model as well. So we give you all sorts of options that Mainline can give you on how you'd like to procure, whether you'd like to lease it, would you like a long-term cloud-like configuration in pricing, or a short-term cloud-like configuration in pricing, and Mainline can offer all those solutions for you to give you flexibility. In short, one storage platform made simple, driving up innovation, but dramatically reducing your cost and complexity. One platform that extends from your entry solution, mid-range and high-end, out into the private cloud. Unmatched performance, unmatched efficiency, unmatched cyber resiliency, and simple to use. In today's world where there aren't thousands of storage admins anymore in the company, maybe there's only five or six left if you're a global Fortune 500, these storage admins can manage exabytes and exabytes because of the simplicity of the flash system family and Spectrum Virtualize. As IDC, one of the leading storage analyst notes, the simplification portfolio means a single flash system family built on a common software platform, same APIs, same management on-prem and in the cloud. And this shift will radically increase the value and the innovation delivered to our customers and to our future customers. The press and analysts love this. So you can see articles and analyst writers from all over the world. This is in the PDF file um, that you can download for Mainline. And with that, I'd like to pass it back to Bob Elliott. Bob, take it away. All right, Eric, and I'm back. And uh, thank you so much for taking us through that. I just want to close things by, or at least close the presentation with a call to action, which says, if you're already a mainline customer, let's get together and let's determine how we can leverage these products to take you to yet another level of performance and, uh, and you know, value. If you're not a mainline customer, but you already work with IBM, um, contact me. I'll, I'll make sure that I put you in contact 
with the mainline person or the mainline representative that would cover your account, your area, et cetera. And if you're not an IBM customer, then let's, uh, and you're a mainline customer, let's reach out and make sure that we've got the right contact for you so that we can uh, come in, meet with you, and make sure that we can, you know, bring you to the right level of understanding and where we can go with this product announcement and family. So with that, I think we open it up to questions at this point. Is that right, Marie? All right. So question time. And our first question here from Mark. And Mark is asking, uh, what's the availability of this new Flash System product? Uh, the Flash System products are available now. They became available the first week of March. So you can get them from Mainline at, at any time. Um, we are a little light, by the way, on the high-end system, the 7200, 9200 actually have sold over forecast. Uh, so if you order one today, you might not get it until either the very end of the month or the first week of April because we're a little bit oversold on that product right now. Okay, great. Thank you. And uh, thank you for that question. Uh, next question here is from Jim. And Jim is saying, what clouds does this work with? So the Spectrum Virtualized software can sit as a virtual instantiation in VMware or Hyper-V in a cloud configuration. It supports uh, IBM Cloud, AWS from Amazon, and although not yet available, if you do have support and maintenance, we will be supporting uh, Microsoft Azure at the end of the year or early Q1. So if you buy now uh, and you want to use Microsoft, no problem. You could use IBM Cloud or AWS today, and then at the end of the year, you could use uh, Microsoft as well. So supported, that would be the three largest cloud providers on the planet be supported with Spectrum Virtualized. And you could seamless move data again from any one of the systems, entry, mid-range, or high-end, out to the cloud and back to the cloud. And that movement, of course, is fully encrypted. Okay, great. Thank you, Eric. Uh, and thanks for that question, Jim. And then a question here from Don and Don says, uh, what software comes with the Flash system? Ah, so as we saw earlier in the printup, and I'm gonna actually quickly roll to that slide because uh, it's easy to do. Okay, and let me just go back one real quick. Um, you can see from the configuration that under each model number is the software that comes with it. So for example, on the Flash System 5030, you get VMware and Red Hat OpenShift support, three-site and two-site replication, local and remote replication, including um, copy and migrate to cloud as well snapshots, easy tier, which is AI automated based tiering, transparent migration, which will migrate data in the background on the fly with no downtime to your servers, data reduction pools, scale out clustering, hyper swap and encryption. Now, when you move to the 5010, you can see you get some of the other additional features. And when you're on the, uh, sorry, or the 5100, when you're on the 5010, you get a few less. Again, the amount of software that comes is a function of the CPU processing power of the array controllers that are in these NVMe-based uh, flash system families. So, and it is a all-inclusive license. So on the 5030, all of the nine features I told you is one license fee. We don't nickel and dime you. Mainline's not going to say, oh, well, we need extra money for hyperswap. Or we need extra money for encryption. No, when you get a 5030, you get all of that software with a single license. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Eric. Um, and thank you for that question, Don. And we have another question here from Tim. And Tim says, can you remind us again about the malware and the ransomware detection software? Was that part of this solution? Okay, so the malware and ransomware detection capability is built into the Spectrum Protect suite. Any IBM storage array and the hundreds of other storage array that use the Spectrum Protect suite will get this malware and ransomware detection which we started shipping about 18 months ago. It is not included in the flash system family because it is backup and modern data protection capability it is heterogeneous in nature. Mainline can connect you with a flash system, of course, but then because it's giving you the, the data protection as well as the malware and ransomware, that is an extra fee as part of the Spectrum Protect suite. And if you already have IBM's products, if you have an older flash system or bought a store-wise a couple of years or you're still using it, 
You can get the malware or ransomware protection on an older IBM product or on a competitor's products, by the way, with um, the Spectrum Protect Suite. So whether it be on our products today, Flash System, our older families, or on a competitive array, the Spectrum Protect Suite delivers the malware and ransomware protection. So it is not included when you buy the Flash System based model. Okay, thanks, Eric. And hopefully, Tim, that um, explains it. If not, come back at me again. Um, okay, another question here from Richard. And Richard is saying, are there any migration tools built into IBM Flash family that help migrate off a competitor's storage device? Sure. So when you use Flash system, you get the, as you can see at the bottom of the page uh, that hopefully you can still see on the screen, you get the external storage virtualization of over 500 storage systems. So let's give an example. I have an EMC VNX2 uh, that started shipping, since I used to be a senior VP at EMC, started shipping in August of 2013. So you bought one in 2014. Now you want to take that system and move that to your backup and archive tier and install a Flash System 7200, which is some, clearly substantially faster in all metrics and has a much more robust software capability. Well, the Flash System 7200 with Spectrum Virtualized comes with the capability of virtualizing external storage, in this case, the EMC VNX2. So you set up the EMC VNX2 from a migration perspective as the source, the target would be the Flash System 7200, you would click off the migration. The migration is automated. It's AI based. If so when the servers are heavily accessing the EMC VNX, it would slow down the migration. When the servers were not hitting the EMC array as hard, it would speed up the migration. So we always favor the application and workload during the migration. It's automated. You set up a source and a target and it will migrate the data in the background on the fly without taking your servers down or your systems down. All you have to do is set it and forget it. Obviously, when the migration is completed, um, it'll send you a note, and there is a migration um, window you can look at where you can see the process, progress of that migration. So depending on how big the array is and how hard the servers are hitting those arrays, it could take a couple hours, it could take a week, but it's all automated. So the migration happens in the background on the fly, even if it takes a week, and you can see the progress anytime during that week. It all depends on the amount of data you're, you're migrating, and of course, how hard the storage is being hit on by the applications and the servers. But it is an automated thing. It is built in to Spectrum Virtualize. And you know, if you wanna have um, Mainline do it for you. They could, of course, do it for you. But the idea is Spectrum Virtualized Software is set up to do the migration on its own. You probably would want a training on how to use Spectrum Virtualized Software uh, from Mainline when you bought the system. But once you've been trained, you could do it yourself all the time. It's easy to do. Great. Thank you. And thank you for that question, Richard. And let's see, Jason is asking, what would be the flash system most comparable to a VMAX 250F? Okay, so the VMAX 250F, that would be the flash system 7200. Um, that is the lower end of the VMAX product line. Um, so that would be a flash system 7200. And as you saw from the performance uh, configurations, we dramatically outperform the Power Max, as you can see on screen right now, and the Power Max is the most powerful, much more powerful than the VMAX 250F. So you can see how we dramatically outperform it, but you would outperform it with a 7200, and you might even be able to outperform it with a 5100, but for sure 7292 will dramatically outperform um, that VMAX configuration. Okay, super. And um, Jason is also asking, what fiber channel switching is compatible? Is it compatible with Cisco MDS? So we work, uh, so the flash system product line will work with either Cisco or Brocade. So either one, uh, Mainline and IBM offer both. Uh, so it depends what your choice is. In fact, when you buy the 9200R, the fully racked configuration um, that we talked about earlier. In the case of a 9200R, 
which you can see right here in the top of the picture in the center. The 9200R not only comes with 9200 arrays, but you can get either Cisco switching or brocade switching built right into that rack configuration. If you want to build it yourself, uh, the Flash system family will work with either Cisco or Brocade. Your choice, you pick which you want, but we definitely support the Cisco MDS as well as the Brocade configurations. Okay, thank you. And Jason, hopefully that answered your question, and if not, uh, come back at me again. And let's see. Uh, he said yes, it did. Okay, great. Thanks, Jason. So let's see. We have another question here from Dak. Uh, Dak, I just abbreviated your name because um, your name will definitely tongue tie me if I attempt to say your name in its proper format. Um, so <laughs> apologies on the abbreviation. So Dak is asking uh, regarding Spectrum Protect licensing, um, since we have it for ransomware protection now, um, if you buy uh, a Spectrum Protect for your data center, do you also need to buy it for a hot standby DR environment? Um, it, well, if you're going to buy, so if you've got an active, active set of data centers where one data center is the backup for the other data center and vice versa, then you could just buy Spectrum Protect Suite for both of the data centers because you'd be running both of them in an active, active pair, which is what people do today. You have an older configuration where it's active passive. Uh, I'll have to take that offline. Bob may know the answer, but the active passive configuration is very old school. In today's world, people with multiple data centers usually have one data center backing up the other. And so A backs up B and B backs up A. In that case, you would need licenses for each of the capacity of each of the two data centers combined because both of them are active data centers. Uh, I'm not sure the answer to that question, though, if it's old world. Bob, I don't know if you know the answer to that one. No, I, I mean, we can definitely, we can run that down and, and check it out, though. Okay, thank you. Okay, good, thank you. And there is another question here, let's see, uh, from Nalum, who is asking, what about costs and support and the life cycle? Okay, so... Uh, IBM offers multiple support and service contracts available through mainline. Uh, there are short ones and there are longer ones. Um, you should assume these arrays, um, you know, when you look at the mean time between failure, these arrays could easily last five years. Everything is hot swappable. All components in array, and if any array vendor tells you different, they're lying. Since I'm almost 70 years old, I've been doing this since the late 70s. All arrays, hard drives, flash modules, power supplies, fans, and cables do wear out over time, but all of the IBM storage solutions are completely hot swappable. That said, once an array gets over three years old, it tends to be dramatically slower than the newer arrays. So we normally suggest that a life cycle for primary storage be three years. Now, one of the good things is, because of the flash system and Spectrum virtualized AI-based automated tiering, so for example, let's assume you've got a store-wise 5020. We haven't sold those for several years. And now you want to go faster. You take the flash, the store-wise 5020, put it as your backup or archive target, buy a brand new flash system 5100 or 7200, which will be dramatically faster in all performance parameters. Migrate the data, which as we talked about earlier with the question is all automated using Spectrum Virtualize, and then set up the store-wise 5020 as a backup tier with our AI-based uh, easy tier technology, and it'll automatically move the data when it's cold out to the 5020. So that's an ideal way to reuse an older asset. So you'd still use it, but you wouldn't use it for primary storage anymore. Rule of thumb is once an array hits two and a half to three years old, it's basically, since most uh, years in high tech are basically like a dog year. A two and a half year old to three year array is between 17 and 21 years old from a technology perspective. Doesn't mean it still doesn't work, but it'll be way slower and usually have less features. So we'd say after two and a half to three years, you should replace it. And obviously if you, if you bought it, um, you could clearly take it and put it as a backup or archive device, assuming it's still working well, which does extend the ROI and return on investment on the older product. And we have many customers who take their older products and turn them into backup and archive instead of buying backup and archive brand new stuff, they use an older primary storage device and turn it into a secondary. So it's a way to extend the ROI and TCO. 
main and support. Um, Mainline has a whole set of options depending on wanting you want short term, you want a one year, you want a two year, three year. There's multiple options that the Mainline team can go over you when you do your purchase. Okay, thank you, Eric. Um, and we have one uh, one other question here. This will probably be our last question, actually, because um, we're getting close to the top of the hour. And this also from Dak, who is interested to know if you can say what the country of manufacture is for these. He's concerned because of uh, in importing apparently regulations um, into India. So we, yeah. So actually, we are we are very aware of the Indian approval process. We do go through that process. Right now, they're probably not available in India. Um, these systems are manufactured in a couple different sites in the world, Guadalajara, Mexico, uh, Southeast China, and that factory is open. As you know, um, the Chinese have pretty much got the virus uh, better in control than the rest of us do. So they've done a, a good job. Of, so that factory is running and so is the factory in Guadalajara, Mexico. Um, but we do go through the normal um, Indian certifications. It usually takes 90 to 120 days after the ship date. So we started shipping the first week of March. By Indian law, it has to be a shipping system to go under certification. They won't let us do a pre-production version. But that is in process right now. Um, so three to four months from now, you could get it in India fully certified by the Indian government. Okay, good. Thank you, Eric, and thank you, Dak. And um, and I have to take one more question because this one is from an old buddy of mine, um, Don. Um, hi, Don. Hope hope you're doing well. Um, so Don is asking, can that DR backup be a net up net app SAN? Uh, when you are using, so we can snap pretty much to anything if it's a if it's a standard uh, bare metal block snap. Doesn't have to be to ourselves. The other thing, depending on where you're going, if you are using Spectrum Virtualize, we support all block arrays, including NetApp. So if it's under Spectrum Virtualize, uh, which you should use anyway, because then you're controlling both products, then the NetApp block array would use Spectrum Virtualize snap capability and snap from a flash system to a NetApp array or an EMC array or an HP array or any block array that's being managed by Spectrum Virtualize. And you could do the same thing. You take data that's sitting on the NetApp block array, an EMC, VNX, or Unity, and snap it to a flash system because both would be using Spectrum Virtualize. That's the power of Spectrum Virtualize is one set of enterprise class data services for all of the storage, both ours and, like I said, you know, the bulk of the 500 arrays that are supported are not IBM logo, it's our competitors. Um, so we work with all of those arrays that are not our own. Okay, good. Thank you. Thanks, Don. Good to hear from you. All right, Eric, I just want to thank you. Marie, I want to thank you and everybody who attended. Um, if there are any questions, please reach out to us. You've got the contact information. And everybody, just please stay safe. Absolutely. Thank you all so much. All right, have a super day. We'll see you again. Bye. For more information, give us a call. Follow us on social or visit us online at mainline.com.